Hey team, Major Foe here. January 1943, turn 14 for the U.S. Let's start with our tech rolls. First one's advanced artillery, you need a 7 or above. That's a 7. That moves to stage 4. Next roll is heavy bombers, need a 9 or above. That's a 12. That moves to stage 3. Next strategic rockets, need a 9 or above. A seven, that's a miss. Next is radar, seven or above. That's a five, that's a miss. Improved factories, seven or above. That's an eight. That's stage four. Uh, heavy battleships, seven or above. That's a one, that's a miss. And attack transports, eight or above. That's a four, that's a miss. Uh, we'll go to our purchases. So we lend lease uh, infantry to the USSR. We lend uh, for three dollars. We lend lease a jet fighter to France for twelve dollars. Now we buy a medium bomber for eleven. Uh, a regular transport, uh, advanced light carrier for three, uh, fast battleship for five, advanced uh, American carrier for four, and the American carrier, the other uh, fleet carrier, to stage two for four. Heavy cruiser for five. Correction, I think that's four, yes. Heavy cruiser for four. Um, three fast battleships for 15, and two fleet carriers for another eight. That's $78. Okay, and $3 for our roll for Peru. Uh, as the line was convoyed again, we need a four or less. That's a five, so that's a miss. Okay, on to combat. So the two infantry in Gibraltar will board the transport. Uh, they'll move into C zone 80 and land in North Africa, Chipotania. America will go up $1. It's a walk-on. Italy will go down $1. Uh, this uh, destroyer will come off of escort duty and end up in C-Zone 80. Delete that. This destroyer will come off escort duty and end up in C zone 48. We'll delete that. And they'll go one, two, three. The subs will come off of rating in C zone 55. And obviously, this is not combat, but one, two. And the sub will come off of rating in C zone 54 and move one, two, three. I'm not sure if that's part of combat or non combat, but be there. Uh, combat the U.S. Marine will walk into Aleutian Islands from Alaska. Two, whoops. Two infantry will move from British Columbia into southeast Alaska. Three infantry will move from British Columbia into the Yukon Territory. A fighter jet moves one, two to pair with the three infantry. Another fighter jet moves one, two to pair with the two infantry. Medium bomber, one, two, three, four against the destroyer. And a destroyer will follow one, two. And that is all of my combat moves. Uh, we'll start the rolling with this pesky destroyer. So my destroyer at a four. That's a miss. 
my medium bomber at a 7. That's a hit. Return fire from the destroyer at a 4. That's an 8, so that's a miss. So that destroyer is taken care of. Uh, my U.S. Marine is at a 3, and the mountains is a 2. That's a miss. Marine uh, on defense is at a 2. That's a miss. 7. We'll roll again. Mine at a 2 is a miss. Militia at a 2 for defense. A 5 is a miss. My Marine at a... Two is a miss. Militia at a defense of two is a hit. So that one's gone. Uh, we'll start with Alaska. So two infantry into the mountains would be at a one. Miss and a fighter at a six. That is a 5, so that's a hit. Militia at a 2 in defense. 3 is a miss. So take back that territory. Uh, in the Yukon, we have 3 infantry at a 1 in the mountains. All misses, and the fighter is six. Also a miss. Uh, in defense is a infantry at a four. Five, that's a miss. Go again, three infantry at a one is a miss, and the fighter at a six is a hit. Uh, infantry in defense at a four. Is it 10? That's a miss. So the Yukon has been liberated. That is all of my combat movements. Uh, Non-combat. The fighters moved 1, 2 from an airbase, so they have 3 movement left. They'll move 1, 2, 3, land in the western United States. Uh, same with this fighter, move 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. Technically, have six movements, so I'll put them with long range aircraft. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the airbase. So I'll put them both into uh, San Francisco. The bomber uh, moved from an airbase with long range aircraft. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and bomber land in British Columbia. Two subs in 95, coastal subs will move to C zone 100. The two subs in 64 will move one, two uh, into 62. The remaining fleet in 20 will move one, two into 64, one infantry from Pacific Northwest will move into the Western United States, those have all moved, the bomber in Rio will move one, two, three, four, and land in Gibraltar. The remaining fleet will move one to join the fleet in 80. Two heavy cruisers, a coastal defense ship, and a torpedo boat destroyer. Uh, the seventh fleet will take uh, six units on the three transports. Two marines, three infantry, and a cavalry. And move one two, three, into C-Zone 48. Uh, the fighter on the carrier will stay. The two jet fighters in uh, New York will move one, two, 
three, four, and land on the carrier in C zone 48. And the fighter in C zone 30 will move one, two, three, and land in the southern United States. That is all of my non-combat movements. Take a quick look around. That is it. Uh, we'll move into uh, placing the units. So the jet fighter. We lend lease to France in northern Algeria. The Russian infantry follows a path around into Karelia. Uh, the free French or the, the the jet fighter goes directly into France. Uh, medium bomber goes into Rio, and. The carrier, fast battleship, light carrier, and transport go to sea zone 64. Okay, we'll go to our wartime uh, roll. Twelve. That's not too bad. Better than the tech rolls have been going. Uh, so we're at 66, uh, plus 12 for the tech roll, plus 12 uh, for our wartime bonus, which would be 24, which would put us at 90. So America will collect 90 this turn. And that will conclude the American turn uh, for January 1943, turn 14. Uh, thanks for watching. Looking forward to Germany, July 1943 with the veteran. Thanks again.